S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby in the rock. No one know you're a couple. No, we're, no, we're not. not. That's your lie about it. We're not lying. But we always see all together. Yeah. Now look what you made her think she's crying. <laughs> oh, why are you standing up for her? Yeah, yeah. because she's a little girlfriend in a tiny skirt. She's not my girlfriend either. She's yeah, just she's my friend. Yeah, I'm going to go for her. Gosh, she's so sensitive. Bullying has become a big problem in our community. We are going to interview some kids who have actually been in that position. When was the first time you got bullied? When I was seven years old. Um, who bullied you? A boy named Ro. He's 12 years old. What did he do? Oh, he threw the, tor the, the ball towards me because they were playing top soccer. And then I grabbed it and he just dropped me on the floor and there was a rock behind him and I hit my back. How did you feel? I felt so sad. What did you do? I got to, I went to tell my mom. And what did she do? She told his mom and his mom told him not to go outside no more. When was the first time you got bullied? The first time I was bullied, I was in fifth grade. And um, it was a group of kids that were bullying me because I had a different hairstyle than everyone else. So it was pretty, it was pretty horrible experience. It makes you feel defenseless. Defenseless meaning it felt like I, I couldn't do anything. There was nothing that I could do to help myself. And so now if I see bullying going on in the school or in my classroom, I try to make sure that they understand that that's not allowed. When was the first time you got bullied? The first time I got bullied was the first week that I came here because it started late in the year. What happened? What happened? Well, they've just started saying that I had cooties and mm -hmm. I was a dirty rat and that, um, that I was crazy and all this. Um, what did you do about it? I told the principal. What did she do? She told our te to my teacher and then after that they just stopped. How, how did that make you feel? It made me feel really bad about myself. I cried every night and um, I would say that I'm really stupid. And, I can't believe I did that. Okay. How could you stop bullying? One thing that I did try to do is I let the students know that um, bullying is not allowed. And then I let them know that I was a student who had gotten bullied. And as a result, I'm there to try to help students who aren't being bullied. Another thing that I did was, like I said, I showed videos to show them that the result of bullying can be sometimes death because people feel like they can't do anything else. So maybe they take their own life or they take the life of the bully. Um, with that being said, I think it's very important not to bully anyone. And if somebody is being bullied, make sure you go to an adult. Standing up for ourselves, like telling how you feel about bullying or telling an adult. Do your, your part, part to stop bullying, bullying to make our community, community a better place. place to live in.